Hey guys, welcome back to the Lazy River. Today I'm going to show you a quick little pro tip that I learned, and it utilizes 3% hydrogen peroxide to clean aquarium equipment. You'll see that I have my nets, my turkey baster, I have some vials from my water test kit, and in this bucket I have my Aquatop submersible pump in the bottom, I have a siphon in the very bottom of the bucket, and a large siphon hose that I use on the tanks from time to time. Now you'll notice that this is very gunky. Now I'm going to show you how to utilize that hydrogen peroxide to get all of this stuff clean and sanitized. Online I looked up an equation for how much hydrogen peroxide you should be using to do this. And the equation said about 15 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide per 50 liters of water. Now, when we translate to that to gallons, I'm not using that much water in these buckets. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a very small amount. We're going to be doing about 5 milliliters per bucket. So we get 10 milliliters in there. It's pretty difficult to do while operating the camera, but let's take that to the buckets and we'll throw it in. All right, so with our hydrogen peroxide in hand, we're going to go ahead and dump 5 milliliters in here. This will be our nets. And we're going to do 5 milliliters in here. This will be our tubing. Alrighty, so we've had this going for about two hours now, and you'll notice that the tube is a little bit cleaner. However, there still is a bit of gunky material on the inside of it, and I attribute that to the fact that I've never actually done this method. This is the first time you're seeing it right here on the Lazy River. But... I want to make it a common practice here. I'd love to start sanitizing all of my equipment. And you know what? Maybe if we keep this as a regular thing, this tube may actually become totally clear. We did get some of it clear up through here. And that there is some material in the bucket and I'm sure that it got sucked back into the pump. But we also need to take the pump apart and clean that. That's been sanitized because it's been sitting in the hydrogen peroxide, but we need to take it apart and we need to clean the sponge inside, get that all good. Up here, we have our nets, which are in the hydrogen peroxide water mix, and they're drying now. So that's how you do it, folks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel. And follow us on Instagram at LazyRiverUS. Until next time, stay lazy and adios.